Oh, listen to this. Custom sounds in Minecraft? That's exactly right. Alright, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding custom sounds to Minecraft, and not only are we going to basically make a sound when we right-click with the dousing rod, we're also going to add custom block sounds. So when we break a particular block, then it's going to play, well, custom sounds. That's the general idea. So let's first of all start with the, let's say, single sound when we find a or with the dousing rod, we're going to basically, you know, make like a bring, like a nice sort of, you know, dousing rod found or sound. And to do this, we're going to make a new package in the tutorial mod package called sound. And this will contain the mod sounds class. Now, the mod sounds class is going to have basically one method, and that's going to be a private static sound event, not sound events, but sound event, actually. And this is going to be called the register sound event method with a string name parameter. Now here we're going to make an identifier called ID. It's going to be a new identifier. Of course, tutorial mod dot mod ID, and then passing in the name. And then we're going to return the registry dot register with the registry dot sound event with the ID, and then a new sound event, and then passing in the ID again. And that's pretty much all that we need for registering the sound events. So then what we're going to do is we're going to make a public static sound event called the dowsing underscore rod underscore found underscore or. And this is equal to the register sound events. And then we're going to call this the same thing, dowsing underscore rod underscore found underscore or. There you go. Now the question is, okay, but where do we put the sound? What, what happens with the sound? Well, the way that this works is that inside of our assets folder in the tutorial mod folder, we're going to need a new file, and that is going to be the sounds.json. Now, the sounds.json basically uh, defines all of the well different sounds that we're going to have. And I'm, I will copy this over, but this will be very straightforward, all things considered. So you can see that um, this is, in this case, the dowsing rod found or. And you can see that this name right here has to be the same as this name right here. So those names have to match. Very important. Then we have some subtitles. So tutorial mod that dowsing rod found or would be the thing that we put into the lang folder so that the subtitles basically display this and then the sounds here this name right here is the name of the file so the files where do they go well they go into the assets tutorial mod folder right click new directory called sounds very important that this is sounds and inside of here we're going to just add this one to it dowsing underscore rod underscore found underscore or dot ogg very important that this is an OGG file, not you can't take an MP3 and just rename the, the file. It actually has to be a proper OGG file, number one. Number two, make sure that it is in a mono. So this is incredibly important as well. Otherwise, there might be some very strange issues with the distance where this might be heard. So it's kind of strange, but it is what it is. And let's then just also add the subtitle here, because why not? So at the very bottom, just going to add this and this is just going to be found found or sound let's just put this and this is basically going to be the subtitle so when you have subtitles on then this is what is being displayed instead of basically this now that is pretty much all that we need to do for the sound so very important the sounds.json file it's kind of weird but it is also very important that this is added the sounds folder with the ogg file in it and then the question is okay how do we use this sound now so we're going to use this in the dousing rod item. So in our item package custom in the dousing rod item right here when we basically find something. So we're just going to say this right here. What we're going to do is we need to get the world. So we're going to say context.get world and then we can call the play sound method. So you can see there's a few play sound methods in this case. We're just going to basically all complete this and we're going to pass in the player number one, the position clicked. So this is, of course, the position where this sound is being played. Then we need the sound event. So this is going to be mod sounds that dousing rod found or exactly. This is going to be the category, which let's say this is going to be blocks and then volume and pitch. We're just going to do one F and one F. And this should then play the actual sound when we find an or. So that's pretty much all that there is to it. Now, we're actually not going to try this immediately. We're actually going to add the block sounds as well, because why not? Then we can test them all together. Now for the block sounds, I will actually copy over some stuff. Once again, all of this is, of course, available to you in the description below. Get a repository and individual gist as well. 
So this is going to be the Mithril Lamp. And then we have the Break, the Step, the Place, the Hit, and the Fall. So those are the five sounds that you need for a, well, block sound group, which we're also going to add. So this is going to be the block sound group. You can see Mithril Sounds. And we define the five different sounds here. I can actually middle mouse button click on this and you can see we have the break sound, the step sound, play sound, hit sound, and fall sound. Just make sure that all of those are correct. I believe one of the ones that does not quite work is the fall sound. I am not sure why. So it's, it, it has nothing to do with the actual sound itself. It's this just some weirdness going on. I'm not 100% sure. But overall, the you know block sound group still works fine. So let's then actually go into the sounds JSON and let's see how this looks now. So I will, of course, once again, copy this over, but all of this is available to you like always. You can see pretty much exactly the same thing. This name right here is the same as this name right here, right? So Mithra underscore lamb underscore break, Mithra underscore lamb underscore break. And then the sound here just points to a specific sound. Those will of course also all be available and just copy it over. There you go. So all of them copied over and that is pretty much all that the we need to do to register the sound. Now the question is how do we add it to a specific block? Well the way to be added is the, we go into the mod blocks class and we're going to do this of course with the mithril lamp in this case and we have a method that we can call and that is called the sounds method. You can see that this takes in a block sound group. So if you think wait it can't be this easy you basically put this in here and then the sound is applied to this specific block. That's all that there is to it. And now we've actually done, well, both of the things that we wanted to do. We have a, you know, single sound that we call via the world. And then we have a block sound group that is called when we, you know, break, step, or place the block. And yeah, that's pretty much all that we need to do. So let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. So let's try the dousing rod first. And there you go. A little bring when we find an ore. And if we don't find something can hear nothing because you know we haven't added anything now what's also very interesting is that when we actually turn off the block sounds then we will no longer be able to hear it because well this is under the block category so that's why the category is very important and then when we take the myth of the lamp we should have some interesting sound here as well and we do let's actually turn off the rain because that kind of interferes with my sounds please thank you so when we break this that's some interesting sounds and when we uh, walk over it we also have some interesting sounds there as well so that's pretty cool and well that's actually how easy it is to add some custom sounds to minecraft right but that would already be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate the like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And special golden thanks go out to MC Arctic for actually supporting me with the gold block tier. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.